gene experiment. The only one of the seven wonders of the world to have survived to this day. Five and a half million tons of stone raised 146 meters in just 20 years. These are the almost inconceivable facts that were given today about its construction. Admirably proportioned, the building keeps locked away in the silence of its stones, the enigma of its design. And it has done so for the last 26 years. An impenetrable mystery? Nothing today can be less certain. On the contrary, the architect Jean-Pierre Houdin has a new theory that appears at last to guide us toward the truth. And what if the pyramid was built from the inside? This idea is the starting point for my theory. Basically, I assume the existence of an internal ramp spiraling right to the top of the monument. The principle behind this ramp, for which there is much supporting evidence, is the main crux of my theory, as it helps explain the construction problems which until now have remained unsolved. For this work, I supported my research with a range of 3D design and scientific simulation software. This modeling system has allowed me to simulate the internal plans of the pyramid and recreate the design steps of the building. Today, presented on a website, the outcome of this project is now accessible to all using simple educational navigation tools. A journey in time made possible with the help of the latest high performance technology. How would you raise millions of stone blocks to more than 140 meters in height? The most obvious answer, at least in part, is by using the external ramp. This ramp, a crucial feature of the construction, enables the bulk of the materials to be transported. Its progressive construction, timed to coincide with the stages of the pyramid's elevation, proves to be a simple and logical way of supplying the site continuously without stopping or even slowing down activity. The pyramid reaches 43 meters in height, that is 65% of its finished bulk, with the help of this external ramp. But beyond that, its effectiveness becomes doubtful. Indeed, let us remind ourselves that if we were to reach the top of the pyramid, such a ramp would be twice the volume of the pyramid itself, and would have a gradient that's far too steep. It then becomes difficult to imagine how the highest blocks would be transported and how the ramp would finally be dismantled. The 3D simulation of the sequence of phases in the construction of the pyramid, the external ramp, the internal ramp, the corridors and the chamber superstructures, allows us to recreate the incredible level of geometric and spatial harmony that the design has reached for all these elements. It allows us in real time to validate the hypotheses, apply the parameter changes and see them in an instant take effect on the whole structure. To understand the construction mechanism of the pyramid, it's important to bear in mind the coexistence of two architectural projects that are quite distinct, that of the pyramid itself and that of the king's chamber. This latter, in effect, determines the interior layout of the monument and, because of its exceptional nature, involves completely innovative working methods. Situated over more than 43 meters above ground at the center of the pyramid, the king's chamber is impressive because of its flat ceiling, topped by tens of beams, some of which weigh over 60 tons. How these blocks came to be installed seems simply unimaginable, but there they are. Let's turn for a moment to this perfectly built gigantic corridor called the Grand Gallery, which leads to the funeral chamber. A vast sloping space devoid of liturgical ornaments, the gallery naturally shows itself to be one of the principal instruments of construction of the chamber, a formidable means of traction based on a counterweight system enabling the enormous blocks to be raised. This system, a staggering piece of technology, makes sense of the internal spaces of the pyramid which until now have remained a mystery. The dynamic 3D simulation of the counterweight trolley running on the roller track along the side benches of the Grand Gallery shows a very high level of expertise using simple materials like stone, wood and rope. 
In this scientific procedure, by undertaking many tests on various loads, materials, and friction levels, we gradually managed to optimize the operation of the internal traction system until we arrived at the most efficient digital dynamics simulation.